What's up guys, the Lost One Gaming here and welcome back to Airport CEO and once again I have to precursor by saying things have changed. This isn't the same airport from the last one. Now I've started over again for the second time in what six parts? Five, six parts? Um why this time? Um there's been an update to the game because the devs of this game are constantly working and, and changing and tweaking things, so there's an update. And, uh, apparently in sandbox mode, the funds don't... Let me open the airport real quick, though. Um, the funds don't move anymore if you were in sandbox mode. Um, which I started out the game in sandbox mode because I thought that if you didn't, that it would have some, like, huge storyline or something that you had to follow. Felt like it would kind of limit me in a way. So I was like, I don't want to... I don't want to do a non-sandbox mode. Because I, I felt like... In sandbox, you don't ha really have an end, you know. You can just kind of keep going and doing whatever. I felt like if I didn't do sandbox, there was going to be like an ending or a set, uh, a set end point or a set uh, goal line that I had to follow. But thus far, it doesn't really seem to be that way. But um, one thing that I'm why is okay. I was about to say why is the airport still closed. One thing that I have noticed actually is the fact that in non sandbox mode there are some of the things that I already had unlocked before don't exist anymore um, so I remember I think when I looked at it the first time I saw that uh, let me see if I can multitask because I'm trying to do contrast at the same time let's see uh, 2800 I'll just I'll just talk about that later when I finish um, 2003 3000 that'll work uh, let's do that anyway some of the stuff that was already unlocked when I came into the game was not supposed to be unlocked. So my big money maker, when I had the shop and, you know, it was just huge and it was making me so much money, was not supposed to happen because I was supposed to have to unlock that, which if I go into here now and I look in, was it operations? No, not operations. Economy. Procurement. You can see, since I don't have the director, actually, you can't really fully see it, but food franchises was supposed to be an upgrade, which cost... Fifty thousand dollars, which I don't have right now because I started out on hard mode or actually impossible mode, where you only start off with two hundred fifty thousand. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully I don't have to start over again. Um, I may have to, but I'm hoping I don't. But let's get back into planning things again. I'm hoping it doesn't take me too long to get back to where I was. Um, I'm not one hundred percent sure how long it's gonna take. I, it, it really seemed like it didn't take me too long to get to where I was before. Because I went from, like, nothing to, like, three stands in about, what, four or five episodes. So, it shouldn't be that long. Of course, I skipped over the creation of the airport again just because I feel like that's a boring process. No one wants to see that, right? I also skipped the character creation thing again because, you know, it's, it's limited. It doesn't really do too much. So, wait a minute. Did I? Frick. Okay, Tuesday, yeah, yeah, okay. Tuesday, and then this will be Wednesday. Alright, got it. Okay, and that'll do. I, could, I was going to say I could take on another contract, but no, I forgot. I don't have three stands anymore, so I can't do such things. We'll see how this one works out, though. I feel like I missed something, something I wanted to say. Something I wanted to do. And again, maybe it wasn't. Let me see. Is everything manned? Let me make sure we got everything going. Oh, this is going to Tallahassee. Cool. <laughs> Tallahassee. We got two people over there. Where are the rest of my guys? I hired a bunch of people, actually, this time around. So that way I can already have things going. I want to see how the bathroom works. That sink kind of looks like a... That faucet kind of looks like a... Um, you know what? I'm not going to mention it. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Is this my guy coming in? No, that's one of the airport staff. Speaking of that, uh, I couldn't get my guy to be like 18 again, so he's 24. So, still young, still young, so I think that's fine. I'm going to speed this up a little bit so I can get to this first uh, this first flight in. I don't have my weather station this time because I didn't think I'd have enough money. Um, so, it doesn't exist anymore. Not like it's really that important anyway. I don't really think it does that much. Because uh, I haven't really seen weather be uh, that much of a factor in this game, I guess, until maybe the winter. 
when the planes need de-icing and stuff. But in terms of like rain, I haven't really seen any rain. I haven't really seen any like bad weather conditions so far. So I don't really think that's uh, necessary. I might get one later, but you know, of course I want to get my food shop upgrade first. Um, yeah, I feel like this uh, this layout now gives me a lot better opportunity for... What the frick is this standing here? Hold on. Did I mess this up? What is this? Is that a wall? Why is this wall here? Why was there a wall in front of the door? There's a wall in front... Okay, I must have done something stupid. Okay. Let me get the contractors back out here again. Jesus, i just glad I noticed that. People would have got trapped in there and died. <laughs> I would not have wanted that. So let's get the con... Frick, I always forget how to do this. <laughs> I always forget how to do this. Um, frick. Why? Operations, construction, there we go. Uh, we'll just deploy, like, ten. So I can come out here and take these walls down. And then we should be good and ready to go for, um, a plane to come in. We should be coming at five in the morning. God, it's an early plane. There we go. Please take that wall down. Thank you. Appreciate that. You guys can go home now. <laughs> you guys can go home. Uh, there we go, construction, that's easy. Uh, dismiss all, there you go. I really want to get a new contract, because they charge nine $9.37 an hour for 68 contractors, but that was kind of the first and only thing that I really had. So, Brinkley is offering me another one for 91 at $5.70. So, I think I might cancel my contract with, uh, with the other company right now, because I don't really... I don't really need it. <laughs> um, I don't really like them that much. Cancel contract. Yes. Um, watch the other one just kind of have disappeared now. <laughs> well, no, it's still here. Okay. Like that. Okay. Those other guys built the airport, so, I mean, they got a good bit of money out of me, so they should be happy now. We got this bus coming in. Air Connect going to the airport. Departed from Casablanca. Okay. Are you actually dropping people off, or are you just kind of roaming around? I don't see you dropping any people off. You're wasting my parking space here. You departed from Almaty, or you dro you're not dropping people off either. Why are you people wasting my time in my parking spaces? I need you to get out. There. Leave. Now. Okay, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. We got four hours left for this. Is everybody ready? The staff, are you ready? You all seem to be chilling. One thing I haven't done yet is, uh done a staff room yet probably should do one of those I mean, my staff isn't uh, just sitting over here <laughs> in the seats um did i mess this up again i thought i saw a wall there i was about to say no god i messed it up again but no it's fine security you guys ready why don't we have anybody down here stay in connection can't okay wait boarding opens at 11 30 why does boarding open at 11 30 i thought i scheduled something already okay i just clicked out of my game that's nice. Yeah, I scheduled at 5. Why does boarding start at 11? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Why did I schedule this one so far apart? This one comes in at 8. It departs at 8. Why did I schedule this for 11.20? No. Boarding, no way boarding starts at 11. Boarding starts at 11.50. Well, that one leaves at 11.50. This one leaves at 8.20. So why does it say boarding at 11? Someone's not doing their job, okay? You guys are doing this wrong. Wait a minute, I just heard the plane come in. Oh, frick. Did I not... I keep forgetting to do this. He needs a holding point. God dang it, I forgot to do this again. Uh, let's say that this is the holding point. <laughs> uh, holding point there. We'll have a holding point up here also. Should be good now, alright? There you go, make your way on in. Have fun with that. What now? I don't even see the notifications. You got new applications? Okay. I don't think that's actually the... Wait, what? Airside construction tutorial complete. Air Airside construction tutorial 2 complete. Step 2 complete. Okay. It's nice. Oh, God. Now all this is here. New email franchise tutorial step 1. Why do I have all these emails? I don't need all these. Um... Let me make sure that this is a thing. 
Airport 69.5%, passengers 89. How do passengers, I was about to say, how did they know anything yet? They haven't even gotten here, but then I realized they were right there. <laughs> Piss people there. Hey, excuse me, can someone come man these? Because uh, you guys should be here for the boarding. Now it says 722. Okay, now it's now it's doing better. Please tell me you guys don't get stuck. Oh my god, okay, I thought he had gotten stuck. Why don't you guys just go out that door? There's a door right there. Oh no, please don't do this again. Some people are smart and they can make their way through. Other people just have to wander around for like 50 minutes and just, where's the exit? Where's the exit? If I could just build a path down this way, I swear I would. <laughs> I might actually do that so they can just tunnel right down there. <laughs> but then they wouldn't be able to get through. So, and I know someone would just walk out if I left any type of opening there. Sir, it's down here. It's down, yes, follow the path. No, keep going. No, turn the frick around. Go, that way. Leave. Oh my god, every time he leaves the exit, he just walks back through. Go that way. Yes, yes, you're almost there. Yes, you have a backpack on it. I just realized that. There. That wasn't, that wasn't a sir, that was a ma'am, actually. <laughs> I thought that was a sir. Um, I apologize for that, for assuming genders. I can't necessarily tell sometimes from these people. Like, this definitely looks like a guy, but it's a girl. That's a guy. Everybody's getting their their bags checked and everything, their, their carry-ons. Good job, security. You guys are doing a good job. This guy has no business whatsoever. He's just over there at this point. <laughs> He's just over there. He's like, hey, you guys want to come over here? Nope, we got this. We're all over here. Let's see. Everybody's checking in, plus $2,908. Wait a minute, aren't these people supposed to be leaving on that plane? Oh, no, they're on the next one. Why are they already here so early? Why are you... Yeah, why are you guys here so early? Excuse you. Okay, there's the other plane coming in. From Tallahassee. We'll be leaving at 1120. Please, bring me your passengers. I need their money. <laughs> I need their money. I might have to do some uh, general aviation, a general aviation stand, and just throw it over here somewhere in the corner. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still trying to decide the layout. I want to do it that all the stands kind of go that way and this way, and I have my shops kind of over here, and everything, bathrooms and stuff back this way, and the the bathrooms and stuff, bathrooms and shops are gonna extend down this way and that way, like in this area, and then the gate seating and stuff is gonna expand kind of this down this line here <laughs> and then the stands like I said are gonna go this way and that way I might put one right here I'm not sure about that yet I don't know if I want to have one directly behind the uh, the information desk again like I had before <laughs> I might switch that up this time and might just move it over here I might put a shop back here I don't know we'll see or a restaurant maybe no mm. we'll see $19,559 Alright. Oh, frick, I just rotated the screen again. Sorry about that. Alright, let's see if this guy can make his way... Uh, sorry. Yeah, there is a guy. If this guy can make his way through again, he is stuck. He's, he doesn't know where to go. <laughs> he doesn't know where to go again. Make it... Oh, my God. Stop turning around. He'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> In due time. Why do my ramp agents look like they're about to go to... That's my janitors. I'm sorry. Why are they wearing prison outfits? They they look like they're all going to go to jail right now. Don't know why that is. Oh, frick. I don't have the bathrooms open. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. That's probably why my passengers are hating me right now. I don't have the bathrooms open. Now they're open. That's good. Okay. Male and female. Make sure I got that part straight, too. What are you guys doing out here? Waiting for a bus. Are you supposed to be... Are you guys not in here? No, I guess they're waiting on a... Where are the buses at? As many buses as I've seen out here before. Why are the buses not here? Where are they at currently? There's a bus. Yes, please take these people. What? You're thinking of leaving the airport? Good, I don't want you here anyway. <laughs> I don't want you here anyway. Alright, now you're bringing people. Take these people with you. Take them with you. They've been standing here for a minute. Take them with you. You guys not going to get on? I was about to say. Okay. Current cures. 
I'm still doing the uh, the bus thing only for right now because of, like I said, I've had issues with the cars before and everybody gets stuck. So, I if I did cars, it'd probably be like way over here somewhere so that there'd be no way they could get stuck. I don't know why my computer is making notifications right now about Skype. I haven't used Skype in God knows how long. <laughs> Let's see. All right, everybody's queued up and ready to go again. You're from Belgium. Hmm. What are you doing here? From Jacksonville to Tallahassee. Seems like that's where most of our flights are going, from Jacksonville mm -hmm. to Tallahassee, and from Tallahassee to Jacksonville. Are all of them literally that way? Hold on. This one... That's Tallahassee. That one was Tallahassee. This one's Tal. Why are they all Tallahassee? Every last one of them is Tallahassee. This company must... They must just literally only have a flight from Tallahassee to Jacksonville and back. That's not very profitable when you think about it. <laughs> to only have one flight? That can't be good. Bye. See you guys later. Hope you have a good time. I hope you had a good time in my airport. You probably didn't, but you know. <laughs> We're at 22,000 now, so if I want to do a general aviation stand, I could do that. But I don't know whether I want to just yet. That would only leave me with $2,000, so... Is that rain? What is that? What is that sound that I'm hearing? I don't see any rain. I see the plane coming in, that's about it. Okay, you guys are coming through. These guys found their way through quick. Okay, I spoke too soon. Now they found their way through. Is that my janitor? Yes, my janitor. Good. Go back to what you were doing over there. Make sure the bathrooms are clean. People are going in there now. <laughs> I'm still laughing at the entry fee. I still want to know how to freaking change that. 22,901. Bathroom usage. Landing fees. Aviation fuel set. Yeah, we don't have a freaking fuel thing anymore. <laughs> which sucks, because I'm going to have to research that again, too. It's going to be a long process. A long process. How much was that again, actually? Staff, hold on. Operate. God dang it, how do I do this again? Economy. Economy. You would think I would know this by now. So let's see. Uh, that was... Fuel service was $100,000 for the A1. And it's 50000 for the... Uh, 100 LL, which is the general general aviation one, which I don't really use that much, so yeah uh, be a hundred thousand dollars, I guess I probably want to get the shop first, because that's probably the closest thing at this point, of course obviously, because we're at, we're halfway there, <laughs> 26,000 alright, this plane will be god, they really could use some fuel they're gonna freaking, they're gonna crash <laughs> they're not gonna make it to Tallahassee with that, they're gonna have to fill up at another airport, I'm sorry it's not my fault right now. Okay, if I could help you, I would. I wish I could, but I can't. Let me see, flight planner. How many more flights do we have today? We have one more flight today, after this one. And then we have the two on Wednesday. We'll probably sign another contract right after that, or probably the same day. Probably Wednesday, I'll do another contract. That's 29,000. All right, we're getting closer and closer to 30. If I had my shop, I'd be... <laughs> if I had my shop, I'd be right there. I was going to say, could I actually afford to do another stand right now? But I don't think I could, considering these cost like... These cost a five... A uh, five thousand. These cost like five thousand dollars a piece. And then these. And then these. So I'd have to get like, probably about... Let's see, actually. Items... The boarding desk costs 2500 so I need one of those. Security checkpoint costs 5000 a piece. That's already, that's already $12,500. $12, and then the check-in desk, that would bring the total cost to $15,000. Actually, I forgot. I also have to have the security zone exits, so that's even more money. <laughs> security zone exits, I have to have two of those. So that's like $19,000. Yep. Oh, plus the doors and the foundation and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot. And, of course, the stand itself. So, yeah, that's a thing. I probably need, like, $40,000 or more. What now? What are your notifications telling me? 
generic notifications. Golden opportunity. Yeah, spam emails. I love those. Uh, yep. So we're at 32,000 right now. I might... Should I start the process of building the second one, or should I just wait? Hmm. There's really no point in me starting it if I can't finish. So... I guess I'll do the shop first. I said I was going to do that last time. I was going to do the shop first. But um, I'm going to end it here, guys. And I will see you in the next one.